We've learned how to find limits. Now we're going to learn some uses of them. Let's start with finding a tangent line. Let's say our graph is y equals x squared, and we want to find the equation of the tangent line at x equals 1. As we can see here, the tangent line comes really close to the graph, and then at x equals 1 just barely touches it. This is why it's a tangent line. So there are three steps we need to find it. First, we're going to call x equal 1 our point A. Next, we're going to find the slope of the tangent, which is governed by this limit equation here. On the numerator, we have our original function minus that function evaluated at A. And on the denominator, we just have x minus A. Lastly, once we solve for M, our slope, we plug that in to this expression here, and we get our tangent equation. So let's look at the example. Finding the tangent equation for x squared at x equals 1. A equals 1. M is going to be the limit of our function x squared minus that function at 1, which is 1 squared, all over x minus 1. First we do some simplification, and then we plug in, and we get m equals 2. Now we just plug m into our tangent equation, shown here. This gives a tangent equation of 2x minus 1. Now let's look at how we can find velocities based on a position function, where f is a function of time. There are two velocities we can find. The first is average velocity. For this, the numerator is just our position function minus that function evaluated at some initial time over t minus that initial time. For the instantaneous velocity, we just take the limit of the average velocity function that we solve for from above, evaluated as t approaches an initial time. So let's look at an example. Say I have a function that tells me my height position in terms of t in seconds, and f of t equals t squared. We want to find the instantaneous velocity when t equals 0.5. First thing we do is find the average velocity function. We just follow the equation here, and we get t plus 0.5. Next, we find the instantaneous velocity by taking the limit of the average velocity function as t approaches that initial time, 0.5. So once we plug in 0.5 for t, we see that our instantaneous velocity is 1 meter per second. These are some uses of limits.